I haven't got time to go into the whole safeguarding issues, but you should definitely have a safeguarding officer or a safeguarding person when you're in a church. And compliance to all of those things, DBS checks, making sure that you're not alone with any children or young people, making sure that, you know, everybody in your team is well um, recruited and has been through a DBS check. All the kind of things that are legally required of us, you should definitely do. Pitfalls in other ways, ministry pitfalls, are not allowing space for people to think and to ask questions, not allowing a, a bit more freedom for people to discuss things, clamping down hard on anything that we think isn't biblical. No, we must be biblical. I'm not suggesting that we do things outside the Bible's remit, but what I am suggesting is we need a space for people to discover for themselves actually what they believe. Not enforced belief, but a di discovery for themselves. That that's a pitfall. And can I just say as well that one big pitfall is that children and youth ministry is not a stepping stone ministry. This isn't a stepping stone to become a pastor of a church. No, this is real ministry. Children and young people's work is the real deal. So is being a pastor, by the way. But we mustn't see it as a stepping stone to the greater work. No, this is a great work.